I was 20. Uh, the training I received at Gannett Newspapers, who were the publishers of USA Today and Metropolitan Titles around the United States, was quite structured and rigorous. And I was known as the cub, you know, a cub reporter. I was like the little baby who had to be escorted around the, the newsroom and showed how to do things. But it was amazing because I was still in college while I worked at the paper. So two days a week after classes, I worked with seasoned journalists. I worked with the political editor and the education columnist. And on Sundays, I worked on the obituaries. So my managing editor told me that despite all the hands-on investigative experience I was getting with the columnists and the reporters, and that's what really rocked my socks off. It was an amazing experience. She said that the obituaries would be my most important training experience. And she was right. When someone dies, the family expects there to be an accurate reflection in their daily newspaper of the person's life, achievements, and their great loves. So every Sunday, I had to make <coughs> calls to several heartbroken families while ins I ensured that I answered the essential five W's and the H. Who, what, when, where, why, and how that my job demanded. So as a person cried or clammed up, I had to show compassion and care in the way I phrased the questions yet I still had to get the five W's and the H, and I had to develop them on the final page so they appeared in a respectful yet factual fashion. So there was no room for spelling mistakes, misquotes, or omissions because there were consequences for your actions. An incorrectly spelled surname was an insult to the dead, and nearly a 